you've negotiated a contract. You're awesome. It doesn't stop there. The next month, you're back. You have to administer the contract. You sit down there. You open up the contract. You got this paragraph sitting there. And you look at the paragraph and says, huh? What did I write? You might wrote half of it. The other side wrote half of it. How do I do this? Sometimes you have to get back together, maybe with the chief negotiator and you. Sometimes you pull the notes of the meeting and you sit down and say, okay, this is what it says over here. And you go back and you sit down with the other chief negotiator and hash things out. I got to tell you, sometimes the things you do in the, in, during negotiations, if you ever go through a 17-hour session and you're exhausted, you write stuff down, you think it looked really good after 17 hours, and it's 11 o'clock at night, and your eyeballs are rolling in the back of your head because you're so tired, and then you end up signing the contract and you go back and read that, you have no idea what you meant sometimes as you go through. Sometimes you have to go back and fix the language as you go through in the process. You do that through an MOU, which is a memorandum of understanding, or you just got to sit down and work through the process. By the time you're all done the administration, you'll have things in that contract though to resolve it. If you have a, a, a language in the contract that an employee thinks they've been violated, oh, I had my rights. Well, what rights were they? It's right over here in uh, Article 4.2.1 as you go through and you read it and they think that this happened over here and this is management interpretation of it. They file a grievance because you disagree with them as you go through and then you go through a grievance process. So a major part of the union is developing a collective bargain agreement. Another major part is enforcing the collective bargain agreement as they go through. A lot of times is the three criteria, how well are day-to-day -day contract questions resolved? How well does the grievance procedure adapt to changing circumstances? And in multi-unit contracts, how well does grievance procedure uh, really permit local contract issues to be included and resolved? This is really a good quality test for the language that you have in there. The union has a legal requirement is called the duty of fair representation. Even if this employee over here is really a nasty, rude person as you go through and nobody likes them, not even their mother likes them as you go through, sometimes the union has to represent that person regardless. And they may apologize secretly behind the doors of management says, I still got to represent them no matter what. And you know what? They do as you go through. So they may represent an agreement that they disagree with, but if, they, if the employee feels it violates the contract, boom, they may actually take it all the way through arbitration, although technically a union doesn't have to go to arbitration to, to represent them because it costs them money as you go through. But anyhow, by the time it's all done, they'll have that aspect of it. Almost always the union, even if they agree with the administration or management that this person should be fired, they will almost always grieve a termination as you go through and often disciplinary issues because they feel an obligation to do that. They will grieve everybody because of the fact if they don't, that person can sue them for failing to represent them to their best interest as you go through. Usually you have multiple steps as you go through. Usually your first step is a dialogue as you go through. You discuss the problem orally with the supervisor. Sometimes a steward does it. Often it's a steward and the employee meet with the supervisor. HR is not involved often at step one. And then sometimes you submit it to writing as you go through to the person above the supervisor. And then a lot of times it's appealed to management or human resources as you go through. And the decisions all put in writing. And then sometimes they appeal it again all the way to arbitration. Arbitration then sits down, you pitch both sides in front of a neutral third party arbitrator as you go through and the arbitrator renders a decision as to who's right and who's wrong. Sometimes they'll sit down and ding both sides as you go through the process because it's all up to them as you go through. Um, they, we call that usually binding as you go through. Usually on a discharge grievance, when somebody is terminated, they'll have a formal process there. Sometimes the union can file a grievance on behalf of these 15 people were all wrong when this pay classification system was changed for this group over here, as you go through. My very first grievance I ever did, we went through, I had the skilled trades versus the unskilled trades. Somebody sat there, ran a giant sandy machine on a stage in, in the theater at a, at, a, at a middle school. So that being said, I, I pretended dumb to, well, now wait a minute, if you, skilled trades is filing this grievance over here, then are you filing against each other? Duh. Acting dumb really works sometimes if you're new. 
I said, no, no, you're the supervisor and you authorized it. Well, have they done it in the past? Well, yeah. I said, have you done it in the past? Yeah. So I guess if you both have done it, then it's my decision. Well, well, yeah, yeah but, but that being said, we want it to be ours. Well, it should be ours. It should go through. Okay, so, so in other words, let me do this. So I came up with a solution as you went through. That was a giant grievance mill. The year before I arrived there, they filed 63 grievances. My first year there, they filed three. Some of it is just talking to people and getting them to talk to each other, bring them all in a group. Nobody ever brought all both sides in the same room to sit there and listen to the, the argument. Listening to people really goes a long ways as you go through. A lot of this is cooperative labor management strategies, ways to sit there and solve teams. Teams are a big deal, much more different than they were 50 years ago as you go through. Nowadays, people like working together. They like rotating jobs. They like sharing financial gains as you go through, which is part of the reason that unions are used to working more in an adversarial nature than they are in getting a long nature as you go through. So that being said, it depends how you manage your things as you go through. Here's a couple of things to know. Grievance is a formal process and conflict can be resolved by listening and responding. They have a right, they have a legal obligation actually for a duty of fair representation and a grievance is always a perceived violation of language within the collective bargain agreement. Now, by the way, sometimes people claim that there's a grievance on this and it's not in the collective bargain agreement, which means it is not a grievance as you go through. It's gotta be language within that agreement. Take care.